Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I wanted to do a quick uh, video on of this transformer. I just got this repaired, so I thought I'd do a, uh, a video and document it. This is a American Flyer number one transformer. This is 25 watts, and I got this in a box of parts some time ago, and uh, it did not work. I uh, plugged it in, and it buzzed, but the uh, wiper was not touching the transformer coils itself. It would move freely, and there was no output at all, zero. So, in any case, I sat in the box for, I don't know, months. Anyway, I just got around to uh, repairing this. Now, it did not have a knob on it, and what had happened is, if you take this knob off, you notice that the uh, knob has two pronounced stops, one on either side, that physically stop the knob from turning. If you pull this knob off and turn that shaft, the wiper will come off of the end of the coil and actually fall below flush. If you try to force it back over, it snaps the end off of the wiper arm. And the end of that wiper arm is just basically a copper point. And that's exactly what had happened. So someone had uh, either taken the knob off or the knob came off, I'm not sure what. And uh, they had turned the uh, shaft, the... Uh, selector or the uh, contactor went below flush. You try to force it back over and it snaps it right off. The transformer is never going to work again, period. That's it. So in any case, I took it apart. The nice thing about uh, American Flyer is that uh, you can uh, disassemble them. The bigger ones are held together with screws. The small ones are held together with uh, detents. They just uh, snap into these little holes, as you see. So as you see right there, I used a screwdriver and uh, got it started, uh, smacked it with a light ball peen hammer, and the bottom just popped off, which gave me direct access to the transformer itself. So I pulled the transformer out. Fortunately, that uh, point that had broken off of the wiper was still inside the case. So I located it, stuck it back in position, and then soldered it, and then uh, reassembled the transformer. Now, I didn't have a knob for it. So I looked around and I found this knob. Now this knob is virtually identical to these, as you see. And it was much too long. And so that point came way out up here. So what I did was, a, this is Bakelite. And so I just chopped it off with a hacksaw and then used a fine file to shorten it, as you see, to put it about the uh, right range for the uh, uh, graduations on this scale. So in any case, I just got this reassembled, and this is going to be my new uh, bench transformer. It's only 25 watts, but it's more than good enough for testing uh, locomotives on the bench, testing light bulbs, anything that will run on the track, you can test with this transformer without having to run back and forth from the bench to the track. So I've taken a piece of zip cord and uh, connected it to the uh, terminals. Now the nice thing about this is you've got two full-size terminals right on top of the transformer, so it's really easy to get to them. So I've just put uh, alligator clips on the end of this zip cord, and I'm getting ready to test this, so I'm going to clip it directly on to the transformer that is powering that inside rail. Now, the inside rail is that American Flyer track that I bought. I got this entire layout for $6. This thing was eaten alive with rust, and I de-rusted it in vinegar, of course. And uh, I've been running the Mark's Army train on it. And this is an old Commodore Vanderbilt that I repainted. You notice it has a 490 motor in it, full-size 490 motor in it. And it's all 3 16 cars. And this was all just built out of junk. And uh, anyway, I assembled it all and then painted it green. And uh, been running it on this inside rail. So in any case, getting ready to test this. So turn the power on. 25-watt American Flyer transformer connected to a de-rusted American Flyer track. Let's see how this goes. Now, this is only 25 watts, and you can see that it is more than enough power to test a locomotive. So this uh, Commodore Vanderbilt is pulling 10 cars powered with a 25-watt transformer that came in a box of parts that I bought. This thing was junk absolute junk and as you see it has more than enough power to run this and uh, take it up to full power so 
more than good enough for testing locomotives, light bulbs, whatever. As you see, that's running really well. So, a junk transformer that came in a box of parts. And as I always stress, just because something's junk when you get it, doesn't mean it's going to be junk when you're finished with it. So, it took about, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes to repair this. And it's up and running, and it's running just absolutely perfectly. Had a good cord on it, and the only problem with it was, like I said, the knob was missing. And uh, someone had turned that shaft. And once that uh, contactor drops below flush on either end of that coil, there's no way to get it back on there. You can't force it because you'll break the uh, contactor right off the uh, wiper arm, which is what had happened. So if that happens, the only way to get it back on there is to disassemble it, physically raise it up, push it back over onto the coil, and then install a knob. And like I said, I didn't have a knob that fit it, so I just modified one to uh, allow me to use these graduations. And it doesn't look bad. Uh, it didn't cost anything. And best of all, of course, is the fact that it works. The neat thing about this is it has two full-size uh, knurled knobs on top. So it makes it really easy to use this for if you have to swap out the wires or do anything. So in any case, like I said, in this case, I just put a piece of zip cord on there and uh, two alligator clips. So this is the new uh, transformer for the bench. And what I'm going to do is actually physically mount this on the wall above the bench and just leave it there. And that way, if I have to test a locomotive or a light bulb or an accessory of any kind, I can do it right on the bench without having to run to the track. It comes in really handy, especially if you're doing motor repairs or if you want to test light bulbs. It's really simple to do it this way. So a, a number one American Flyer Transformer, 25 watts, came in a box of parts that I bought. This thing was junk. It's actually in fairly good condition because the day that that uh, uh, contactor broke off of the wiper arm, this thing never worked again. So it was just put aside and sat and sat and sat. And as you can see, it's not perfect, but it works perfectly. And that's the neat thing about it. It was uh, really cheap, almost free, in fact. It came in a box of parts that I bought. So this will be the new uh, bench transformer for testing uh, motors, light bulbs, accessories, etc. It's simple to repair. only takes a few minutes, like I said, half an hour or so, and this was up and running. So it works. And uh, this is also a perfect testament of how well you can de-rust this old track. Now, this thing uh, ran really well on a 25-watt transformer, and this track was just eaten alive with rust. And I did a, a whole series of uh, videos on de-rusting this track. Anyway, I got that entire layout, that entire track, for $6. And uh, I think it cost $8 to ship it, something like that, which was, I thought, a very good deal. And although it isn't pretty, as you see, now, once it's de-rusted in vinegar, it runs absolutely perfectly. It runs like new track. And that uh, Commodore Vanderbilt is pulling 10 cars with a 25-watt transformer. So, it speaks for itself. Anyway, this is the new uh, transformer I'll be using on the bench. It's uh, in really decent condition. It works perfectly. It's easy to use. It's small. It's powerful. Like I said, I'll just mount this directly on the wall and leave it above the bench. So... Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.